This week in Jeju A to Z, Todd Thacker takes a brief look at the Jeju Chusa Memorial Hall. The site at Ansonni Taejong recognizes the artistic and cultural contributions of a famous Joseon scholar and artist, Kim Jong Hee, who was exiled to the island from 1840 to 1849. Though a very popular holiday destination today, Jeju Island in centuries past was inhospitable and remote. For this reason, historically it was used as a place of exile. One such individual in exile, or Yubeja in Korean, was scholar Kim Jong Hee who is known by the pen name Chusa. After being falsely charged with instigating a government power struggle, he was exiled here from 1840 to 1849. He was one of 200 or so individuals who over the course of 500 years were banished to the island by the Joseon royal court. Chusa was greatly influenced by Jeju Island, and examples of his paintings, poetry, and calligraphy are now on display at the Chusa Memorial Hall, built near the site of his home in exile in Ansongni, Daejeon. Interestingly, the Memorial Hall is itself modeled on one of Chusa's masterpieces, a painting from 1844 called Sehamdo, or A Winter Scene. This work is very dear to Koreans, and itself is designated National Treasure number 180. Chusa was moved by images of Jeju's black basalt stones, its volcanic cones, and the ever-changing views of the ocean. You can see this in his paintings, wood carvings, and letters. On display are beautiful examples of his calligraphy in a style he developed himself called Chusache. There is also a replica of the house Chusa lived in and three walking trails that follow the routes on which he took daily strolls. So, if you'd like to get a sense of Jeju's past, embodied in the experience of a truly great Korean scholar, then this historical site and museum comes highly recommended. Todd Thacker, KCTV.